Welcome to another episode here on Your Digital Makeover. My name is Jerry Colbert, and in today's episode, we're going to be going over lists in Tick Tick. Coming up next. So in today's episode here on Your Digital Makeover, we'll be going over how I utilize lists in TickTick. So as you see here, we have TickTick opened up. And I'm going to give you all a brief um, overview of how I utilize lists in uh, TickTick. And um, just kind of give you just some pointers of why I have it set up this way. So if you look over here to the left here um, under lists, you see that I have set up um, three different main areas and they are called folders in uh, TickTick. And underneath these folders are my lists underneath these three different headers. And so what have I done here? So I have three different main areas of my life. I have my main job I also have my personal life and then I also have my part-time gig which is uh, photography okay so I have three different areas there now of course I also do this YouTube thing this YouTube thing is located under personal right now as it is so I have these three different areas listed here and under each area I have the same list under each area as you see here so you're wondering why well I have daily routines I have to do at the hotel I also have weekly routines at the hotel monthly routines and quarterly yearly and then single action tasks I also have the same thing in my personal life as well as my photography life now under each one of these, I, like I say, I have daily routines, weekly routines, monthly routines, quarterly routines, yearly routines, and single action. Now, each of these routines are reoccurring tasks. Okay. And under daily routine, I have weekly routine, monthly routine, quarterly routine, yearly routine here, and single actions. This is the same thing. I have daily routines that I have to do. Same with the photography. I have daily routines, weekly routines, monthly routines, yearly routines. So, and I have single action. So what are these and why do I care, right? Well, you see, under these routines, these are reoccurring tasks that I just want to have separated so I can keep, I guess you could say, better organized on what my routines are. So if I say, you know, I, whenever I'm creating these routines, I might create a daily routine, but I want to kind of see all the daily routines under one list so I know what I have in there and what I don't. But I don't necessarily need to go to these daily routines or weekly routines to be able to see what my routine is for the day because I have the today list view that shows me everything that's going to go on today. And I also have the calendar view, as you know, I really like the calendar interview. This is where I do most of my, um, um, where I do most of everything I'm I'm looking at on my calendar interview as far as what I have to get done for the day. And then I have single actions. And what single actions is, is items that are not routines that must get done and they're one-off items, right? So like, for instance, in my personal life here, I got... Uh, tomorrow I gotta take a, my car to the dealership to get a tire because well I blew a tire yesterday and it's got a spare on there so I gotta do that so that's that's not a routine it's not something that's gonna reoccur every day because I don't need to get a tire every day so it's just a single action uh, item here I got watch the chosen episode 5 uh, that's come on tonight uh, and by the way if you haven't seen the chosen check it out it's pretty cool then I got uh, I got some other items in here as well that I do. Okay. Then uh, of course um, I also have the same thing set up for my uh, hotel as well. 
But this is basically why I set up these different areas so I can keep track of all the routines, different routines I've got. And they all show up up here. So basically, I don't really use the lists every day. I usually keep them all uh, minimized here, okay? You see, I just keep them minimized and I just go off the calendar. Now, if I need to reorganize some lists or whatever, or do something different with the list, I might do that. Um, but other than that, I really don't mess with the list that much. They just stay there. Um, in later episodes, I'll go over some of the tags that I do and some of the uh, custom, um, which is like filters and uh, if you're a fan of Todoist. And so that's basically how I do that. Now, you're probably wondering, well, how do you set that up like that, Jerry? Well, that's a good question. I'm glad you asked. So if you go over here to um, add list, and let's say you want to add a list. So let's say you say personal, right? You can either create a new folder or if you just did it like that and maybe you're just getting started in Tick Tick so you don't really know what you're doing, right? So maybe you, you created your single action item, right? And so you put that down there and you hit add. So now it's added that there. And let's say for instance, you wanted to go ahead and create a daily routine, right? So in order to create a new folder, you could just drag it onto the other one that you're doing and then create a new folder and call it home or whatever you want to call it, right? So these are some of the ways that you can actually um, create yourself a folder and then put these things underneath it. Uh, conversely, let's say for instance, let's take care of that, delete these out of here. Alright, All right, so let's say for instance you wanted to create yourself a daily routine, right? Well, like I said, was uh, showing you just a second ago if I could type. <laughs> you could go and just create a new folder like that, right? And then create that as home and do it like this boom and now you got it over here and now anytime you want to create another uh list you can just drag it in under, underneath there so like for instance maybe i want to create weekly routine like that right so now you've done that then you can just drag it into your home and then you can reorganize these however you want have it up and down or whatever so i hope uh that was uh informative for you and if it was, please leave a comment down below if you uh, have any questions or if you like this video, please hit that like button. And like always, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Uh, it helps us grow as a channel here on YouTube. And hit that notification bell if you want to get notified of any upcoming videos. And with that being said, I want to wish you all a wonderful week and I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care. Bye.